awareness on breath movement. Just feel your breath. With complete awareness, once inhale deeply. And then slow exhalation. palms each other, make your palms warmer. You keep cup shape your palms and place down the closed eyes. Feel warmth of the palms and relax your eyes. Release your hands slowly with few wings. Slowly open your eyes and look at your palms. Now slowly stretch your legs forward. Today uh, we'll do a practice which is called as Adha Padma Paschimottanasana. Uh, till day 10 practice we did the Jam Sheshasana holding right leg and bending forward like this. In Adha Padma Paschimottanasana, here there is a posture called as lotus posture which is called as Padmasana where we keep both the legs one on the other like this. This is Padmasana. Uh, today we will do the half lotus called as Radha Padma placing one leg on the other and then it should bend forward. In Chana Shishasana we kept the leg like this in practice but here this leg will be on the thigh here. You should place it on the left thigh here. And here in a few days back in day 5, day 6 I think we did the half butterfly practice pressing the leg down and lifting up like this. I told you on that day this will helpful to get, get the external rotation to the right thigh joint. The same external rotation will be applied in this practice. Here I will fold the right leg and place it on the left. When you are placing your right leg on the left, watch this leg. Here this leg should be kept, that means your heel should be kept to the center of the thigh here. Impact should shift on the thigh joint. That means your thigh joint should rotate outward. Don't slide your ankle down like this. This will use intense stretch of the ankle which is not necessary at this posture. So try to place this leg up here. If you lift your right leg that's fine. But don't press your leg down by sliding your feet. Okay. And then you should keep your back straight. First step you should stretch your hands on the shoulder level. Second step and then lift your hands up. And then by exhaling you should bend forward and try to catch your outer edge of the feet and bend forward as much as you can and stay in the position. Okay, we'll do it together. Uh, before that we'll do one preparatory, the same half butterfly we'll practice and then we'll get into the practice. Okay. First fold your right leg from your left hand, catch hold your right ankle, pull it up and place the right palm on the right knee. Don't allow your right ankle to slide down. Stack one, press down. Two, lift up. Three, press down. Four, up. Five, press. Six, up. Seven, press. Eight, up. Nine, press. Ten, up. Now press. Close your eyes. Feel the stretch. One, two, Three, four, five. Now slowly stretch your right leg forward. Now just shake your legs. Now slip complementary. Now fold your left leg, place it on the right and pull it up as much as you can. Place the left palm on the left knee. Make sure you are not sliding your left heel down. One press down. To lift up, three press, four up, five press, six up, seven press, eight up, nine press, ten up, press, close your eyes and stay. One, two, three, four. Now slowly stretch your left leg forward. Now we'll go to the practice. First 
slowly fold your right leg and place it on the left. Pull it up as much as you can. And then try to make your back straight. In the first step, stretch your hands at the shoulder level as you inhale. Exhalation, turn your palm up. Then you lift your hand over the head and face your palms forward. Stretch your body up by extending your spine slowly back forward, but as much as you can. And try to hold your feet. If you can't hold your feet, place your hand wherever it's comfortable to you. Those who can manage to hold the feet, that's good. Hold, push your heel out and slowly bend forward as much as you can. Bend your head, breathe normally. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift your hands up as you inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands to the shoulder level. Turn your palms down and drop your hand. Now stretch your right leg forward. Relax and shiddle and dance now. Legs apart. Put your head back. Relax your right leg. Especially relax your right knee. Now a few blinks. Slowly open your eyes. Now slowly join your both legs. Now fold your left leg and place it on the right. Pull it up as much as you can. For all the key points. Now stretch your hand the shoulder level as you inhale. Exhalation, turn your palm up. Then you lift your hand up, face your palms forward, stretch. By extending your spine, slowly back forward and try to hold out the of the feet. Extend your spine and slowly bend as much as you can and stay in the position. 10, 9, 8, bend up your capabilities, 7, don't force too much, 6, just feel the stretch, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, slowly rise your hands up as you inhale, exhale, bring your hands to the shoulder level, Turn your palms down, drop your hand. Now stretch your left leg forward. Relax and chill and rasa. Relax your both legs. Now slowly open your eyes. And then lie on your abdomen. First relax in the Makasana. Legs apart and your feet upward and relax. Join your both legs. Stretch your hands forward. Hold your hands at your back. Try to hold at your breast. Now slowly stretch your hands and lift your chest up as much as you can. Try to lift up to the navel center and stay in the position. One. Keep on lifting. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, up, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Slow release. Relax in Makarasana. Legs apart. Turn your feet outward. Your palms on your shoulders. And relax. Slowly, come on from the posture. In the next practice, you should come on elbows and then you should slowly fold your right leg and catch hold your right ankle. And usually when you are folding your leg, it will be going inward like this. By default, he goes in. Now what you should do is from your right hand, you should catch hold from inward like this and try to take it out like that so that your thigh joint will roll inward as so for example here we are working on the complementary practice we did Ardha Padma Paschimottanasana here I, our thigh joint rotated outward this card is external rotation now we are working on internal rotation and this practice is also helpful or it also acts as a preparatory for next upcoming asanas so we are working on that First, we will come on the elbows and then from your right hand, you should catch out your right ankle. It will be coming in. Try to take it out as much as you can and pull it as much as you can. Pull up your capabilities. Just minimize the gap between your floor and your heel as much as you can. When you are pulling it, don't roll your back and pull like this. Your waist should be on the floor without lifting up your pelvic. You should just your job is to folding leg, taking this leg out and then pull as much as you can. This is sufficient. Okay. First, come on your elbows. Now fold your right leg from the right hand, catch out your right ankle from inside. Now push it out and start pulling it as much as you can. Feel the effect happening at your thigh. Breathe. One. Two. Don't disturb the position of the waist. Three. Four. Five. Don't force too much. Be careful. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now slowly release, stretch your right leg. Now self complimentary, fold your left leg, catch hold your left leg from inward, push it out and start pulling as much as you can and stay. One, don't lift your waist. So you should not lift your waist and push like this. Your waist should be on the floor and just keep on pressing as much as you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now slowly release and relax in Makarasana. Legs apart and your feet outward and relax. Slowly place your palms on both sides of the chest. Slowly come up and relax in Shishankasana.
slowly come up as inhale and then stretch your legs forward. We'll go to the practice of Marichyasana. Now slowly fold your right leg and take it to the left. And then fold your left leg, place your left foot in front of right ankle. Now take your left hand front, bend forward. From your left hand, just try to grab your left leg and try to hold your hands each other at your back. If you can manage to hold it at your wrist and try to touch your forehead to your right knee and breathe. One, it is possible to touch your chin. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, keep on trying to touch your forehead your knee, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19, 20, slowly come up as you inhale, exhale, stretch your hands forward, drop your hands and stretch your legs forward, now fold your left leg, take it to the right, fold your right and place it in front of your left ankle, now take your right hand front, try to wrap your right leg from your right hand and try to hold your hands each other at your back. If you can manage to hold at your wrist, that's good. Now try to chill for it to your left knee and stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, thirteen, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now stretch your hands forward as in heel. Drop your hands and then stretch your legs forward. By doing support of your elbows, slowly lie on your back. Now we'll go to practice of power uttasana. Slowly fold your both legs and then capture your legs from your both hands, press your thighs to your abdomen. Bring your face in between your knees and stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Just release your hand. Now switch your hand over the hand. Lift your right leg up in 9 degree. Left leg in 10 degree. Lift your head along with your arms. From the left hand, try to touch your right big toe. Make sure your low back is touching to the floor. Start changing. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 